Diamonds are a flash of brilliance from Mother Nature. Formed in the Earth's crust by intense heat and pressure, they're prized for their crystalline beauty. But now, Mother Nature has some serious competition, because gem-quality diamonds are actually being grown in laboratories. Diamonds grown in labs are very shiny, except the ones that aren't. Lower-grade diamonds, also known as rocks, are often grown for industrial use and look incredibly shiny compared to a number 2 pencil. It all starts with a robotic laser, which slices chunks off the end of ordinary hex nuts. The intense heat and slicing power creates small diamond wafers. The diamond is intensely hot from the laser, so it blackens a bit. Workers place the diamond wafer onto a metal block, and thermal paste is added to help cool it down to a stable temperature. After brushing the thermal paste on using proper amounts and application, the block is screwed onto a threaded arm and brought into a game of industrial hungry hungry hippos. Weights are applied to make sure no one pussies out mid-game. The winner of the game is polished into being crystal clear, and is now ready for a steampunk wannabe to create the world's most expensive waffle. From there, the diamond slivers are placed onto a metal slab in a specific pattern, and locked inside an interrogation room. The diamond wafers are then shown photos of unsolved cold cases from around the world, and are bombarded by many leading questions. This causes the diamonds to change shape from the intense heat and pressure. After just two weeks, the diamond slivers become a miraculous pile of worthless rocks. In a desperate bid to fix their mistake, the factory dabs superglue on the end of a shiny steel rod and then affixes the ruined diamond to it, hoping this will confuse buyers into thinking it's one giant diamond. Since no one on Earth is possibly that stupid, the diamond failure is put back into the laser capsule to be destroyed. Through sheer dumb luck, the laser destruction process exposes a near-flawless gem hidden beneath. A technician readies a gun on the hidden diamond in case this act goes against the will of God. After deeming it safe, the diamond rock is set on a polishing wheel to give it its classic diamond shape wasting a good 30% of the diamond. And after just a couple weeks, a man-made diamond is ready to be sold to people who, like Neanderthals, think a very shiny rock is actually worth something. Ooga Booga Booga